All right, uh, this is our last full day of hunting. We've had eight glorious days. Uh, this is our last one. All I really need is a Gimsbach to complete my deal. Uh, Kevin's got like, I think 12 animals. <laughs> He's been jumping out of the truck quick as he can anytime we see something. So, uh, like I said, I just want to get this Gimsbach that I complete any animal I really wanted. Might shoot another one so we get to an even 20 just to make it uh, a nicer number and everything we're telling everybody. But we'll see what happens. Uh, wish us luck. I think we know where they're going to be at. Uh, we sent them a couple times. Hopefully we'll find a big bull in there and we'll get him. Spotted a real nice bull. Uh, he's about 520 yards away. Uh, a little far right now, so we're gonna try to set up a little bit of an ambush and everything like that on him. Uh, he should be circling around this way. Uh, Nick and him have got a, like, see, he's a real nice looking bull. So, good luck. Get yourself comfortable and see that you can see across the end of the road. You can all let us know when he's on your way. Brilliant. Shit, that is exciting. Uh, actually work. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, our ambush. First ambush ever. Yeah. Greatest, greatest ambush of all time. Uh, we saw this uh, real nice bull about 520 yards away. We circled around, had the guys uh, trying to push him a little bit in the vehicle or walking. He got within 150 yards of us and uh, waiting for him to step out broadside to the right side of the bush and as soon as he came out, put the hammer down, he went around the bush and see him kicking up and now we're going to go check him out. So we've got an early start this morning, the last day. Um, Donnie still had a, a Gemsback bull on his bucket list. Um, we came in, came into this property, and we uh, we spotted this lone bull from well, we spotted a lone Gemsback from a long way away. Uh, we got a bit closer, ascertained that he was a great bull, um, but he had eyes on us, so there was no way to stalk him. Um, so we we let him be, and we came on round and uh, set up an ambush point where we thought he might cross over and uh, we were waiting sort of uh, we probably waited 45 minutes and uh, we saw him come over the horizon about six seven hundred yards away and um, 
he slowly moved his way in um, tried to get on him a couple of times but he kept moving closer slowly um, anyway uh, at about 150 just before the breeze was turning on us Donnie made a great shot uh, hit him on the shoulder took two yards and fell over and uh, what a beautiful game struck ball congratulations Donnie thank you sir like I say I've I've dreamed with this animal and everything like that. Uh, we went down, me and Kevin went at a ranch and everything like that, and they had these gims bock. And I saw them just how beautiful of an animal it was. And that's one of the reasons we came over here is because we saw these animals up close. And like I say, they're just a magnificent animal. They, uh, uh, they're just beautiful. Uh, the coloration, the horns. Uh, no, I say I could not be happier with this animal that I've taken. He was just uh he's a beast. And I'm glad we got a chance to come over here and do this. It's a great day. Weapons are right over here. Oh, thank you. Sir. Thank you. I'm glad I can get you back to them. Yeah. Thanks for the, uh, we're Give we're back to you. fetch the weapons uh after we made it back some hour and a half to uh drop off the gims box. Uh I had to help my, my PH find the way back to the rifles, but we were able to recover them. That's the good news. So uh, everything is good now. Thanks, you guys, come on, come on in the picture, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, we appreciate it. Without him, we'd have been lost. <laughs> really nice yellow bull, and one that we're gonna go take a look at that looks like he is uh, very, very, very old, much on the downhill side. He's down this ridge and see if we can get a, get a better look at him. Big stuff. He was standing just to the side just of it. That thick. Yeah, in that thick part. So if we kind of go along there and then add it now. It has been 10 days of incredible hunting. Uh, Considered I've met new friends, not just, just met people. Um, give me as much as I gave them, if not more, which not many people can that, can, can that be said of. Uh, had a great time. Uh, good food, good hunting. I mean, I, I'd say something negative if I could, trust me. And those of you who know me are watching this, no, I would. Uh, absolutely nothing negative to say. It's uh, it's been fabulous. It's it's been. Uh, I came with very high expectations, and everything about the hunt exceeded my expectations, which, again, is some sometimes can be difficult for me. So, um, if ever presented the opportunity, come. If you don't have the opportunity, make the opportunity. Um, if you've ever grew if you're if you're an old man like me and you grew up watching Marlon Perkins and Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom and you always dreamed about hunting in Africa, come. Don't say you'll do it next year, don't say you'll do it the year after. Call and book. Uh, we actually booked two months before we came. So don't think this has to be a four or five year process. It doesn't. 
Don't let people scare you by talking about how hard it is to get to the airport because it's not. Don't let people scare you about anything because there's absolutely nothing about this trip that's been unpleasant. Except maybe the flight, which is not so fun. But other than that, absolutely nothing that there's no reason for anyone in the world who watches this video not to come. Uh, last little thing here, if you, if you come and you, you have the chance, film your hunt, get pictures. I can tell you I haven't seen the video yet. Obviously it hasn't been made, but the pictures are unbelievable. Uh, the things that, that Nadine has done with the Gala Productions just to to bring the hunt to life and, and they're those of you that know me will see these pictures time and time again before you ever see the video, but those of you that don't, uh, trust me, uh, you want to do that. Uh, great hunt. Some stalks were short, some stalks were long, some stalks were fairly easy, one almost killed me. Um, some shots that were 100 yards, some shots that were over 500 yards. Uh, it's, it's a plethora of hunting experience. Don't miss out. Like you said, everything has been a dream for me forever. Uh, like I say the, the Cape Buffalo that I took uh, is the animal that I've always wanted to take and everything. And it was uh, extremely hard and everything. We had 12 people, three horses, uh, everything going on. And I had to shoot him at 200 yards in the mountains. Uh, I was climbing over rocks and, oh man, it was it was amazing everything I kept. You wouldn't want to just sit there and, just shoot him and everything like that, you know, he can walk out of a bush or something. That just made it that much better and everything like that. I didn't like it climbing up the mountain or down, but we got him. And uh, like I say, you know, like I say, if you're gonna come, like I say, you wanna get a little stuff in a little bit better shape than I did. And, uh, you know, be willing to shoot off them sticks and everything to get a little practice. Uh, it doesn't take much of getting used to, adjusting and everything, but, uh, like I say, I took a giant uh, water buck, uh, uh, say a giant gimsbuck, let's say the Niala, uh, and it was just, like I say, the first animal of that Niala, it was just a beautiful animal, and that water buck was awesome. Like I say, they were stalking it from the below. We were stalking it, me and uh, Nick were not uh, stalking it from above. Uh, we got, we walked right up on him at 300 yards, and Kevin was wanting to shoot him, but we shot him first. So <laughs> it worked out. Next day he got a, he got a real good one today, uh, yesterday. So I'm sure he's not too happy, un unhappy with it. So uh, like I say, we've just had an awesome time with wonderful people, wonderful meals, just you know meeting everybody that we have is. All the guides, all the, uh, everybody's just the been trackers, wonderful. The trackers, the skinners, the people at all the other ranches, everybody's been phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, to say they've been hospitable is, is is an understatement and almost insulting. They've been, uh, they've been great. Been great people uh, to, you know, to be around, to talk with it. The knowledge of animals. Guys, I know a lot of you gonna watch this and think, oh, I know animals. Uh, yeah, okay. All I'm gonna say is come get you soon. I've hunted North America all my life and I know North American animals. You come over here, you've got, we've seen uh, out of the 30 species that Nick offers on his Plains Games package, we saw 29 of them. And you start trying to identify those animals when they're running about 50 miles an hour dead away from you. And the fact those guys can do it in about a half a second before I can even lift my binoculars, it's incredible. I, 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 will, I wish I could tell you how they did it, but I certainly don't know. Just years and years and years of doing it, I believe. But that's why you want to come with an outfitter that, that's reputable, that knows their business, that, that does the business right. So uh, it's been a great time. Like I said, Donnie and I have hunted together for the last more than 25 years now. Yeah. And we've talked about coming to Africa for probably most of that 25 years. And uh, all I want to say, fellas, is talk is cheap. And all it is is money. They print more of it every day, and you can't take any of it with you when you go. Uh, so it, it's definitely, it's an experience. I, I read a quote from watching all these videos before leading up to here. 
the only man I envy is the man who's yet gone to Africa because he has so much yet to look forward to. And I can tell you right now, whoever wrote that is a very wise man. Donnie, it's mm -hmm. been a blast, brother. Yes, sir. And I couldn't come with anybody better to, to want to hunt with. Let's see. It's just been a dream. trip up here uh, got with Nick Bauer and Benjamin and Nadine uh, it took a very very 10 20 awesome animals and everything um, we couldn't be prouder and everything like that of what we took uh, like I say we've been treated for a real while uh, like I say our trip uh, we've gone all over the place and like I say we've seen hundreds of not thousands of animals so it's been an amazing, amazing trip. For anyone questioning coming to Africa, I know I did for years. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't wait. I uh, wish I'd have done it 20 years ago. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to be a regular now. It's an absolute, I, I can't tell you how much fun it is. I think maybe the backdrop can give you some idea how much fun it was. But uh, I, I would I definitely highly recommend don't, don't hesitate, don't wait book your hunt now. Couldn't recommend anybody better than Nick Backer or Dollar Productions to do your filming. Uh, guys, get on it now. <laughs>